All right, welcome everyone to another Radio Free Cybertron review. I'm your host, Diecast, and here we have Heavy Noisy, uh, which is the second not Combaticon uh, from Warbitron. And as you can see on the front here, you have Heavy Noisy himself, which is, you know, obviously an homage to Brawl. Uh, and in the background here, you have uh, Bruticus, or not Bruticus. Um, flip this around on the side here. You can see up at the top. Actually, you can't see. This box is so big, it's kind of hard to get it in frame. It actually says Heavy Noisy WB01D. Uh, on the back here, you have a little drawing uh, that's supposed to line up with the other boxes. Um, one thing I will say, I was really surprised at the size of the packaging when I got this in the mail. I did not expect the packaging to be this big. And then down on the bottom, Warbitron, www.warbitron.com. I've never been to the website. I really don't know what's on it. Not for zero for three. So if you're zero three and you're watching this review, this figure's not for you. And then there's also a choking hazard and some kanji that I can't understand. And please recycle. Not like you're going to throw the box out, but... And then this is a slip cover. So what we're going to do is we're just going to slide that off. It's actually a pretty tight slip cover. And here you have Heavy Noisy in his packaging and all his Warbertron goodness. And I'm really impressed with this. On the box, it actually says ages 15 plus. Heavy Noisy WB01B set. On the side here, nice picture. Heavy Noisy. He's a sergeant. I guess that's kind of like a sergeant. Armed Forces of the Warbitron. And on the back here, you have a couple nice uh, shadow images, I guess, uh, or outlines of Heavy Noisy. And also, I knew I saw it on here. It made me laugh. Uh, where is it? Where is it? It might be on the slipcover where it says... Now I'm just going crazy. It actually says something in the effect of um, actual color may vary. Uh, but there's actually, here it is. Specifications and colors and contents may vary from photo. But it's just a shadow or, you know, an outline photo. So that will definitely vary from the product inside. I promise. All right. So now we got him out of the slip cover and out of the official box now you have another box and plastic uh, here you can see heavy noisy will slide his plastic out of the cardboard backing put him off to the side for a second uh, you will have this little accessory bag this has the uh, little screw covers that go on heavy noisy I just wanted to show you that mine was actually taped to the plastic backing so I actually didn't see it when I pulled it out to get to the instructions um, I actually had to look for it uh, luckily I knew it was going to be in the box uh, and here you have the comic now it is uh, sort of a you know a funny little comic apparently that's you know Megan Fox or her name is Megan um, and it's it's pretty good. Um, the thing I really like about the comic is the instructions on the, you know, after the comic, because they're not on a piece of paper that's all folded up 15 times on itself uh, for the instructions. It's actually this this really thick, good paper. Um, the cover is actually thicker than what I think most comic book covers are, and it goes through the transformation uh, fairly well. Uh, as best as you can expect it, I guess. 
Um, but then it also shows the foot up here. And there's another photo of the foot right there. And it actually looks like the foot's going to have some weapons on it, which is neat. And obviously at this point, we all know that it's going to come with uh, the center figure um, onslaught. So I'm really liking this this first figure. It's the second figure of the line, but the first figure I've gotten. Uh, and I really like it. Really nice. Really impressed. Uh, glad I'm going to all, you know going all in on these guys and here is the plastic card uh it's like you know kind of like credit card stock uh with the his you know tech specs uh as you can say and uh it's actually bigger than a credit card uh, i don't have a credit card to show you um but it actually is a little bit bigger than what a standard credit card would be Hold that upside down. All right, and next we're gonna get to the plastic packaging, and then of course I'm trying to stand it up, so that's not gonna work too well. Pop the top off, take out the weapons, take out the shield, and take out the figure. Now what I like to do in my reviews is, in my reviews I like to actually, you know, transform him the way he arrives in package uh, into whatever, you know, mode he goes into, whether it be robot or alt mode. Um, the reason I like to do that is that way, you know, when you get the package in hand, uh, you, can, you can watch my video or hopefully watch my video and do it the exact same way um the shield on him or the part of the tank becomes a shield just clips on to his arm right there and then the gun folds up and these pieces flip around and then this handle flips out and then you have a gun almost like a sniper rifle uh, for heavy noisy there's kind of no way he can hold it straight unless you totally straighten out his arm then you can kind of Turn it a little bit, and you can just like so. Um, his guns, you can also clip them on his shield. If you want his shield to have some weapons that can fire from, whatever you choose to do. And he's just, he's really nice. The only thing I will say about the figure is the top looks a little bit skinny. It would have been better if his arms could have pulled out a little bit more uh, from the center of his chest. Um, but the feet and the legs down at the bottom, if they were a little bit smaller, there was a way that this tread could fold back a little bit. Uh, if his legs were a little bit smaller, the top might not look so small and the arms might not appear to be so, you know, so close to his shoulder or close to his chest. Um, he just has big legs. Um, but anyway, his articulation is pretty good. His arm can go out a good distance. It can spin around. He's got a double jointed, he's got a lower swivel and then he can do almost about a 90 degree angle on his curve legs can go out about that far forward backwards swivel at the top of the thigh 
and his knee. A lot of this is due to transformation, but it can almost do a 360, and it can go a little bit forward, too. Not like you're going to pose it that way, but hey, it's an option. Then there is a little bit of an ankle tilt. It's actually the whole fit foot will move. So you can get some nice poses with, with uh, Brawl that way. I just wanted to do a quick size comparison. Here he is with Masterpiece Prowl. Uh, so as you can see, uh, he actually scales really nice with these Masterpiece figures. Um, he's a little bit taller, um, but if we were to ever get a Masterpiece uh, Devastator, I think this is about the size the robots would be. Uh, so I really love to see a masterpiece devastator actually an official one uh, but this just gives you an idea of the size and what those figures would look like uh, if if one day we're ever so lucky to get a masterpiece combiner i think with hasbro doing master uh, with hasbro doing combiners now official combiners with a voyager as the center uh, right now they they announced superion and menasaur I think we have a good chance down the line, maybe in a couple years, two or three years, of getting a Masterpiece Devastator. Uh, but this would look really nice next to a Masterpiece Devastator. Okay, so now let's get into the transformation. Sorry about that last part. I know it was a little dark. Um, still trying to play with some settings to get this perfect for reviews. Um, first thing you want to do for the transformation to go to uh, vehicle mode is you want to come down to the legs and I'm going to fold fold this little back piece up or back heel uh, support and then there's the the bottom of the heel for the actual foot we're going to flip that up kind of just leave it straight just like that for now same thing on this side bring that up straighten it out and what you're going to do is we're going to rotate the one leg around. And once you get it about 90 degree angle, you can actually flip the back of the foot around and then turn it the rest of the way. I find that it's just a little bit easier to transform if I flip that around halfway through. And then we can just tab the bottom of the legs together which is actually going to turn into the back of the tank come around to the back and now we can just flip those feet down now that they're rotated just like so um, now I'm going to show you the one thing that everyone is doing wrong with this figure uh, for transformation let's turn his head around first actually it doesn't seem to work that way this back piece is in the way you can actually right now come around and just tab that back piece in. We'll flip his head around, put that in. Now the arms, you want to collapse the arms. And I already loosened, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I've already loosened the screws on the forearm. Just a, just a tad, uh, just to make that arm easier to collapse. Collapse that. Now what you want to do is you want to keep the arms straight uh, like they're going to go into the body. And then you're going to take the top half of the tank, his chest, and you're slowly going to keep those arms straight and turn the chest. As you can see, it's going to bring the hands down into the legs. So that way you don't have to pull them off, and, you know, pull it out, scratch the hands. They just slide in real nice. And then when you're going to, you know, take them out, transform them into robot mode, do the same thing. And that's what everyone's doing wrong on this figure for the transformation. Now whether that is the way it's supposed to be transformed, I don't know, but that is the easiest way to transform this figure. Then you just want to take the treads bring them around 
You can see the little clip there. That's why this has to be done last. And just slide the tread in until it's straight. Same thing on this. Slide the tread in. And that is pretty much pretty much it for the robot. Going into vehicle mode. Uh, then we're going to take his gun. Flip these pieces back down. Move them back up. Bring the post back down. I'll take the guns out of here real quick. And then this top piece just clips right into the top of the tank. And then you can just pop this on. It goes in that peg right there. Just like so. And you can see he does rotate at the top a little bit. Now the other thing I noticed, some people were telling you that this back piece was getting in the way of the turret turning. Um, but if you look at it, it's actually not. It's actually this joint right there that's getting in the way of the tank turning. So if you just lift this up a little bit, you can get some more rotation out of it. There's actually nothing on the back here that's actually stopping it from stopping the turret from turning. But for looks, I like to leave it pushed all the way down. And then of course it can lower a little bit and raise a pretty good amount. And then these missiles or guns can just clip in the front right there. You can see there are little slots on them that line up with those. There's even slots there, but they, they go toward the outside. And they actually seem a tad bit smaller. I don't know if they are or not, but I'm not gonna I don't see any reason to put the guns in these holes. Uh, there might be something I'm missing, but there you go. This is Warbitron's uh, Heavy Noisy. Uh, make sure to follow us on Twitter at TF Radio. And you can follow myself if you want at Diecast2 on Twitter. Uh, also check out our website www.tfradio.net. Alright, thank you for watching.